Today I'll teach you how to perform client side validation for textbox in ASP.NET Core Razor Pages. So let's start. So the very first thing I'll open Solution Explorer and from there I'll be opening the model class. So here I am adding a namespace system dot component model dot data annotations. This particular namespace is required for data annotations. Here I will be adding one single property called name which will be a string property. As you can see at present I am adding a data annotation required and I am setting the error message for it. This particular data annotation is used for performing required validations. It is very similar to required field validator. So with this our model class is complete. Now let's move to the index model class. So here I am creating a public property person. Now let's move to the razor page. First I'll inherit the tag helper classes of the ASP.NET Core. The next thing I am doing is adding a form. The method attribute I am setting to post. Now inside the form I am creating an HTML table and within the HTML table the very first thing which I am adding is a text box and for text box I am making use of ASP4 attribute and in the ASP4 attribute value I will be setting the name property. ASP4 attribute is used to set a value for a particular field. So in this case it will be fetching the value from the name field. The next thing I am adding is the HTML span element which will be used to display the validation error message. The HTML span has been set with an ASP validation for attribute. This particular attribute will be used for displaying the validation message for the model property. Now here you will notice I am adding attribute named class. This is required for setting the CSS class. Now I am adding a submit button and for that I am making use of input element and I am setting the type as submit which when clicked by the user will submit the form to the action result method. Now I am making use of ASP page handler attribute and I am setting its value as submit and this particular attribute is used for specifying the handler method. Now again let's move back to the index model class. Now here I'll be adding another handler method on post submit. Here on post prefix is required before the method name and it is not required to specify in the razor page inside the ASP page handler attribute. But here you need to specify the prefix as on post. I am passing the person model class object as parameter. Inside the handler method, the state of the submitted model is checked using model state dot is valid property. And if the model is valid, then the value of the name property is set in a view data object. Now again, let's move back to the razor page. Firstly, I am checking whether the state of the model is valid or not. If the state of the model is valid, then the value of the view data object will be displayed using razor syntax. In order to enable client side validations, I am inheriting some script files which includes the jQuery library, the jQuery validation plugin, and the jQuery validation unobstressive JavaScript library. Here I have pasted some CSS classes. This is required for styling the view as well as setting the color for the error message which will be displayed during validation. So with this we are done with our view and we can now run the project and see it in action. As you can see the text box and the button has been rendered and also the validation is working fine. Now I will be adding my name in the text box and I will again submit to see whether it works or not. When we put value in the text box it is working fine. So with this we come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. Goodbye.